Asia at the CPI Institute here in Tijuana, Mexico. I've studied the efficacy of the stem cells, obviously, but a lot of the biohacks that help mobilize the stem cells, that proliferate the stem cells, that helps with recovery, you know, all of those things together, you know, is kind of unique. You don't find that anywhere else from what I've researched. And then obviously it's very convenient, it's easy just flying into San Diego and then like 30 minutes later you're across the border and uh, it's very convenient, you know, that I've studied Gerson therapy as well so knowing that the food that they give you is organic and it helps kind of cleanse and purify your body so you're more receptive to the stem cells, so there's a combination of, of all these things I guess. I did downhill mountain bike racing for a little, for a little while, got injuries from that. I got injuries from snowboarding or heliboarding in the Himalayas and uh, I, I had a major injury last year to my tricep. I competed in Ironman triathlon and bodybuilding so I've had a lot of injuries. So the main reason why I'm here though is that I've worn the cartilage down in the, in the left side and I've got a bit of a meniscus tear that I found out as well. So I've had stem cells there. I've also had separated AC joints and I got a full thickness tear of my supraspinatus. So I've had stem cells put there as well. And uh, then uh, my tricep. So I tore 68% of the rear head of my tricep. Uh, so I've had stem cells put in this area as well. And along with that, I am into biohacking and anti-aging and improving my health span. So I have had the IV stem cells as well as stem cells put into my face to help with elastin, collagen production, anti-aging, and into my hairline as well, because I'm thinning a little bit on, on the top of my head. So uh, I just wanted to ensure that I you know, go into my later years with a full head of hair as well. And what I really liked is that, of course, you go in depth, you have to take the x-rays, you have to take the MRIs, you have to take, you know, even before you go into the hyperbaric oxygen, which is more like a submarine here, <laughs> you have to take, uh, you know, the chest x-rays to ensure that your lungs are at perfect capacity to take something like that. This is unlike any hyperbaric oxygen chamber that I've ever seen, and I use HBOTS quite frequently. This is the, definitely the largest one that I've seen, and obviously this is a clinical setting HBOT, which has much more pressure and obviously gonna be much more efficacious, and uh, we can watch a movie in there too. What I really liked as well, when we were actually being injected by the stem cells, we're using an ultrasound. So I'm actually watching the needle go specifically into my supraspinatus or the area of concern by the surgeon. So, and I, from what I've been told, the surgeon is a lot of the time used to injecting very vascular areas such as cancerous tumors. So he has to be very, very specific and precise with that role. So of course he brings that to the table when working on us as well. Here we are uh, using the PEMF now. I do have one of these at home. However, it's just like a mat. This is obviously a commercial and clinical grade PEMF, which is much more powerful. I'll use this in areas to help hone the stem cells into these localized areas. So there's localized areas for me, it's basically the shoulder, the tricep, the elbow, and the knee. Feeling good is the most important. That's what success is. So people think success could be materialistic possession, could be money, car you drive, house, whatever. To me, it's, it's about happiness, and training is a big part of that. I've been active throughout my entire life, and uh, to increase my health span, to keep mobilized, and to prevent the onset of wear and tear in the future is everything to me. So, uh, you know, that's why I'm here. I'm investing into my future and my happiness right now.